up everyone? Nerdy Noob here, and I have a special edition unboxing video for today. I want to apologize, it's like 6 in the morning, I just wanted to film a video so I could get it out to you today. But in this video, I'm going to be unboxing the 2016, I don't know, it's not a month, it's a special edition box. It is the uh, Nerd Block and IGN collab box. Although it doesn't say Nerd Block on this at all, it just says IGN all over it, so... So yeah, disclaimer, because I'm sure this might bring new people to the channel, I got this box, I wasn't even going to get this box at all, I was like, no, I'm, I'm over buying the Nerd Block Special Edition boxes, they're never really that great, and then so many people asked me if I was going to get it, and I, I was like, no, I'm not going to get it, and then of course I was like, uh, should I get it, and then I didn't want it to sell out, and so then I got it. I'm pretty sure, honestly, I don't even, IGN, they're... I think they do, I'm sure it's like a website or something, but I know I've seen some of their YouTube videos and they do things like gaming wise. So it's probably like a big fat gaming box, which is going to be so great for me, unless this thing is filled with a bunch of like Nintendo items. I'm sure this is going to go terribly wrong. Anyways, I paid, I think this box was $40. And then I paid $10 for shipping, so it turned out to be $50. That's usually how much the Nerd Block Special Edition boxes are. But I'll put all of the pricing details in the description below. I don't think this box is still available. I'm pretty sure it's not. But if you liked anything in this box, I'm sure you could go on eBay or something and find the items. All right, here we... Oh, what is this? Where did this even come from? Somebody else's shipping label was on my box. Okay, let's take that off. All right, here we go. One shoe. Oh my gosh. Cut the tape. I think I might need to get a new knife. I think that's what's happening here, is that my knife is not very good anymore. All right, once you get the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're going to see. Does it look like a bunch of stuff that I don't know what it's going to be? Probably. Ever wanted to spice up your life? Buy the arcade box. Oh my gosh, I need to... Purchase my arcade block. So, this is an advertisement card for Nerd Block, of course, which I actually do need to go online and buy my arcade and comic block because I canceled my subscription. I don't know why, on accident. Alright, first item we have is an IGN bumper sticker. There you go. What does IGN stand for? Something Gaming Network, Independent Gaming Network. Independent Gaming Network, that would make sense, but then I don't, that doesn't seem like it would be good. Alright, first item, or well, the second item technically we have, oh, this is kind of neat. It's a journal, it's a fallout journal, and it has lined paper in it, so this is one that you can use to actually write in a journal. I'm not going to open this, but it has a little bungee cord to close it, um, and it's got the, it's got Vault Boy. Is that not his name? Because last time I made a comment about his name being Vault Boy, and somebody was like, that's not Vault Boy, and I was like, oh no, have I been lied to my whole life? The one thing I thought I knew about Fallout isn't even true. Anyways, this is a nice journal. It's a, it's not a hard hardback, but it's not, it's not soft. It's like a mixture of the two. Whoa, this is 1895 regular price. That's intense. All right, the next item we got. Oh, this is cool. We have a Fallout pump, pump. We got a Fallout pop of the T60 Power Armor. I got a gold one of these in my that game stop box or whatever it was. Not necessarily collecting these, but it'll be cool to have if I decide to collect them. I do plan on playing Fallout soon. Hopefully with T. I'm not sure yet, but uh, a lot of you guys asked me to play it and to try it. It was one of the games. That and what's that other game called? The one where you're the man and you like do stuff. I'm really good at explaining things, guys. All right, the next item we have is, oh gosh. Nemesis from Resident Evil. This guy looks so creepy. Box is a little bit damaged, but I don't think I don't think this is one of those ones that you're supposed to keep in the box. Okay, so this is from the 20th anniversary of Resident Evil. If you can see this little tag here, and then this is what dude looks like. This guy looks creepy. I don't know if this is like the actual proportion of him, but proportion-wise, his head is really small compared to his body. The next item we got is a bag. Is this like an IGN bag? Yes, it's a reusable bag. Oh, it's a reusable bag with the IGN logo on it. It's an okay bag. It's more like a tote bag because the bottom isn't flat. So you 
I mean, you might be able to bring this to get your groceries, but it's not necessarily ideal because once you put it down, it's just going to fall over. But it's still like if you are going to like maybe the beach or something, you just want to bring a small towel. This is a good bag. It's that same material as the Target reusable bags, which is not like the Trader Joe's reusable bags. It's like the softer material. I'm sure it's the same durability, but I always frown upon this type of material. I just feel like it's not as strong as the Trader Joe's bags, but it, I think it just comes down to personal preference, to be honest. I'm such an expert at reusable bags. I'm really not. It's just because we have to use them all over the place now, you know. All right, the next thing we got is a patch. It's a Street Fighter V patch. This is a pretty big patch. It's bigger than my hand. That can go on my denim jacket once I get that going. <gasps> Does this, this is gonna have games on it? Oh, okay. So, look at this, guys. So this is a classic controller from NES. This is super cool. It's made for the PC and the Mac. I thought this might have like games downloaded in it, which would have been so awesome. But basically, I think what this is, is a controller that you can like, if you play, I know some people play NES games on their computer, and you can plug this in and actually get the legit, like, old school feel of playing video games. I'm gonna have to look in that. And I'm so excited that it works for a Mac, so I can use it on my uh, MacBook. Does anybody have this? Like, where do I play NES games? Do you play them online, or do I have to buy them or something? I'm like, I'm like so excited. This is so cool. Neat. Plug and play. I wish that this, what would make this better, and I don't know, I, I'm pretty sure it doesn't have this because it would say if it did. What would make this even better is if it had games preloaded in it. But you know what's really cool is that they're coming out with that mini NES thing that's going to have games preloaded in it, so I'm really excited for that. So if anybody who's asked me about it, yes, I'm super stoked about that. But this is really neat. I'm going to see if I can find some NES games to play like online or something. Wow. Whew, I like that. The next time we have is an IGN pin. It's got the double backing, which means it's serious business. Before we do the shirt, we got a couple of printed items. All right, the first item that we have is Deuce X Universe. I think I'm saying that wrong. Children's Crusade. Funny enough, usually I get comic books and I look at the cover and I'm like, nope. But this one actually looks kind of cool. I don't know what it's about. But this guy, it looks like a fake Iron Man almost. Like this guy's punching the ground and all these other guys are flying away. Which is what Iron Man does. Actually, yeah, hasn't he done that before? Or am I thinking Thor? I think maybe they all do that. I don't really know. But that's kind of cool. I'll look that up. Does anyone know what this is about? Tell me what this one's about. The next time we got is a printed picture of this guy, Jared. I think that this guy might work for IGN. Like, I think he's in some of their videos. I think I've seen him in videos. So, maybe that's what that's about. Oh, we got an arcade block set of playing cards, which I think I've received these before, if I'm not mistaken. The box looks like a, a Game Boy, a classic Game Boy. So this is what the box looks like. Oh, this is neat. I don't think I actually have received these. I have received a lot of different... Oh, a lot of different playing cards from Nerd Block, and they're actually really, really cool. Like, ba like I got one that was like Super Mario characters and stuff. This one is very simple. The Ace is a Ruby from uh, Legend of Zelda. But if you look at all the cards, oh, and the Aces are different for each of the suits. So let's look at some of just the cards. If you look at some of these cards, I feel like they're shaped like like the diamonds are all rubies. You see that? And you have, yes. Actually, I think I might have received these. I'm pretty sure now. Link, the princess, this evil guy from Legend of Zelda. And then, crap, I forgot what this game is, is based off of. But this guy. So the, uh, what are the suits? Diamonds, ace, spade, oh, hearts. So this represents the hearts that thing. This is my favorite, this is my favorite, this is my favorite. I'm having trouble like remembering the suits of regular cards. It's funny how that works. So the spades, ace, ace, no wait, ace, spades, what is it? Hearts, diamonds, aces, 
no, not aces, spades and what are the suits? What are the card suits? Spades, diamonds, hearts, and oh my gosh, you guys. I'm having the biggest brain fart of my life. What are cards, playing cards? What is wrong with me right now? It's too early in the morning. Clubs! Okay, so Super Mario Brothers represents the club. So for your ace, you've got the mushroom, and then you've got a bunch of mushrooms. And then for the face cards, you've got Mario, Princess, and Bowser. Uh, the reason I thought I had these is because I received cards that received cards. were very similar to this, but this one is a little bit more intense with the gaming themes that they used. The last one that we got is, I'm not sure, but these represent the spades. So this is like a leaf that has a bite out of it, which is what the spades represent. And then here's the face cards. So the face cards will give off more so what the game this is from, but I, I don't really know what game that's from. Is this uh No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even want to guess. But that's cool. I love, like, unique playing cards like this. I think it's fun. It's better than just boring playing cards, I think. Although these ones are kind of confusing. You might forget what the actual suits of the playing cards are. Look, the Jokers were the dog from, um, Duck Hunt. I was obsessed with Duck Hunt when I was little. That was probably, other than, um, Mario, that was probably my favorite NES game. All right, we still have a few more things. Let's see. We have a print. Is this a Zelda print? Oh, it tells us. Oh, I was right. Uh, Russ Moore's Epona's Song Print. So, I don't know what that is. But there's Zelda on a horse with his sword. And then we got our puzzle piece from... Nerd block. And then before we do the cards, let's do the shirt. It is a black shirt print shirt. Gildan heavy cotton medium, men's medium. The shirt is black. This is technically a Marvel nerd block exclusive. I want to make a comment about that because one time I said that and then I gave the shirt $10 as I always do. And you know, I got the people going, that's a Marvel licensed shirt. That's more than tellers. First of all, this is not, I would not consider this a Marvel's licensed shirt. Nerdblock went and put a Marvel tag on it with their logo, but this by no means would I consider this a Marvel licensed shirt. Marvel licensed shirts usually have the Marvel thing on the tag, like this whole thing is Marvel or whatever. This is a shirt punch shirt where they partnered with Marvel, but I don't consider this a Marvel licensed shirt. And at the end of the day, you can get like, they had a Deadpool shirt at Target for $10, their sale, two for $10, $10 each. And at Macy's, they were having a $9.99 shirt sale as well. So you can get tons of licensed shirts for $10, trust me, that's a real thing. Anyways, we got a Deadpool shirt. This is cool, but kind of like, eh, only because Deadpool, I mean, that was a while ago, so it just seems like, I bet you they just had this shirt. They just put an extra Deadpool shirt in here. All right, guys, let's do pricing and recap, and we are going to do both at the same time. Where did that little card go? The first item we had is our Deadpool shirt. This box did come with a lot of items, so this is cool. So I'm going to give that $10. Next, we got our Funko Pop, and there's two different ones that you could have received. You could have either gotten uh, Warcraft or Fallout. So Azeroth with Ogrim, or you got the T60 Power Armor. So we got the T60 Power Armor. That's good with me. We got our exclusive IGN it's Insignia Label Pen. Pin? Laypole. They put Laypole, not label. Maybe it's supposed to be that. Am I? No. Oh, it is. Lapel? I don't really know. Anyways, uh, I forgot to give the Funko Pop something. So $10 for the shirt, $10 for the Funko Pop. They're not exclusive Funko Pop, Funko Pop so it got $10. And then the pin will give $3. And then the, there's three items that they put in this box that were like extra items. They were basically overflow from Arcade Block. So I thought I had maybe potentially received that Nemesis figure, but I'm not 100% sure. I have to look back on my videos. So we got our playing card set. We got our Nemesis figure. I actually think I have received this because it's pretty creepy and I thought I remember that. And then our Street Fighter patch. So those three were kind of extra items. Then we had our, I don't think I'm saying this right, but Deuce X variant comic, Children's Crusade. We had our IGN tote bag. Oh, I'm not doing pricing. Sorry. Let's see. Where did I step off? I stopped at the uh, pin. Cards, I'm going to give $2.00. Patch, I'm going to give $2, and this little figure, I'll go ahead and give, I'll give that one 
$4. The bag, the tote bag, IGN tote bag, that gets $1. The bumper sticker gets $1. This uh, Zelda print, I'm going to just give that $1. So I looked up this controller online, and uh, there's some different prices, but... It looks like I can get this thing for about ten dollars. Um, even though this journal says eighteen ninety five, I would say that that is overpriced, and I would probably give. I usually give twenty percent off of the list price, which would be two dollars plus. Probably give four. I could give four dollars off this. So I'm gonna say that this thing is about fourteen dollars. I'm gonna go with fourteen dollars. I think that's kind of expensive, but I know that those kind of things are really expensive. One, it's licensed, and two, it's it's. It's actually really well priced. Like, this is something that you'd go to the store and buy, which means that it's fairly, you know, expensive. Maybe I should look it up. Just kidding. On Amazon, it's $13.35, but I'll stick with $14, so I priced it $0.70 cents over. My bad. And then we got our exclusive auto. Oh, for the journals, you could have, there's tons of different ones you could have gotten. You could have either gotten Fallout, Diablo, Gears of War, World of Warcraft, or Uncharted. Uncharted, that's the game I was talking about with the guy who tries to do stuff. And then the last item we got is our exclusive IGN autograph. I don't know who all the different people are, but they, it looks like there's a whole like mess of them, like probably 10 or so different people you could have received. So I got this guy, Jared Petty. I'll give uh, $2 for the autograph. Okay, so according to my pricing, this box is worth $60. If I did only pay $50 for it, that means I got $10 extra value on top of what I paid for it. Oh, I didn't give a price for this comic book. I'm all over the place. This is why I can't price and do recap at the same time, but that's the only thing I think I didn't give a value to, so I would say this comic book, we'll say $4. Okay, so this box is worth $64, which is $14 extra value on top of what I paid for if I paid $50, because I think I did, which is okay. Um, for a $50 box, I think I would have at least wanted $20. And I think I price these things pretty spot on, to be honest. Um, you might be able to give a couple dollars, a couple extra dollars here and there, but I priced it pretty legit to what you can actually purchase these things for if you were to go online. So, $64, it's good. I'm glad that I got my value, but I would have wished for at least $20 extra value for a $50 box, you know? That's a $50 box is kind of expensive. If I had to rate this box, uh, my first first of all, my favorite item is this, just because I love Nintendo, and I like the playing cards too. Obviously, I prefer if they were all Super Mario Brothers, but that's okay. I just like that. It had different themes to it. Like I just like cards that are like that. I get excited when I get playing cards like that. Everything else was pretty cool. I mean, it's just kind of whatever. It's if you're an IGN fan, like if you're a huge supporter of them, I feel like you would love this box because there was a lot of IGN themed items in it. Everything else was okay. The one thing that my gripe, I guess, about this box is other than the IGN products, everything else was pretty just stuff that you can get at the store. Nothing was exclusive to this box or anything like that. Like, if they could have gotten us an exclusive Funko Pop, that would have been exciting. But everything was just more stuff that you could buy at the store. So it wasn't as cool or exclusive as I would have wanted. If I had to rate this box, I would probably, for me personally, I would probably give this box probably just a 3.5 out of 5 noobs. Um, it should be higher, honestly. It's just I'm not a huge fan of all the items in it. And I feel like a lot of the stuff is just duplicate items that we've gotten in all of our other nerd block boxes, like nerd block and arcade block. So nothing like super special about it. And even though I love this item, I don't want to let the my viewpoint on this one item skew my outlook on the entire box. If this was full of Nintendo items, this box would have been a five. But it just had the one, which is cool. And I like this. I gotta see what it does or if I just can use this as a control like how it works but I'm excited that we did get one Nintendo product all right guys that's all I have for you today if you like this video feel free to click the like button below if you want to see more unboxing videos go and check out my channel I have a whole bunch on there and you should subscribe let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box were you guys a fan of it for $50 do you think it was worth it or is there anybody out there who just like religiously watches IGN are you like big fans of IGN and if so did you like this box more than everybody else let me know what your thoughts are down below and remember if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions are blocked or set to private you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page which is coming up right now thank you guys so much for watching i hope you have a great day and i will see you guys later bye